Politics in Lansing is heating up. It'll reach the boiling point tomorrow with what's expected to be a massive demonstration. It's all over the right to work legislation. The bills have already passed the Michigan Senate and House and await Governor Snyder's signature. There's been plenty of opposition to this legislation. Demonstrations in Marquette and Nagani today. The Michigan Nurses Association held a protest in Lansing. Tomorrow, though, thousands are expected to demonstrate at the state capitol. TV6's Jennifer Perez with the story on what's at stake with the unions. Jennifer? Steve, local unions and workers tell me they're worried. The right to work bill gives employees the choice to not be a part of a union and not pay union dues and fees. But union members say if this bill is signed, the future of unions and employee benefits could be in jeopardy. Public workers opposing the right to work bill protested in front of Dan Banaschek's office in Marquette. Opponents of the bill say they are surprised by how fast it's passing through the legislature. Snyder told us that right to work legislation was not on his agenda, so he lied to us. Unions collectively bargain for benefits, equal wages, and safe working conditions. Union officials say if it's enacted into law, it could break up unions, leaving employees with no protection and less benefits. What it's doing is giving workers lower wages, less benefits, and no security at the job, no voice at the job. And what it's doing is giving more profits to the CEOs. Republican State Senator Tom Casperson says he supports the unions and voted against the legislation. I don't want to get rid of that. And the argument on the other side is it doesn't get rid of it. It actually makes the union stronger. Um, I just disagree philosophically with that opinion. I think it is a, a, a wedge to drive the unions apart. And so um, I, don't th I think it went too far. Opponents also feel employees who choose not to join unions will still reap the benefits they offer. But Governor Rick Snyder says the bill is not anti-union. He says it's all about giving people a choice whether or not to join one. I don't believe this is fundamentally anti-union. I believe it's pro-worker, giving workers more authority about their own lives and situation. Public workers, opponents, and union members are planning to head to Lansing tonight to protest alongside of thousands from Michigan. They're hoping Governor Snyder sees the massive uproar and doesn't sign the bill into law, or at least gives them an opportunity to voice their concerns. Supporters want the bill signed into law. I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow.